What's up everyone? Another lesson for today. Today's lesson is simply accepting where you're at, accepting your feelings, however they are. Sometimes it's gray outside and gray inside and you don't really feel good or have much pride, but that's a lesson for you. That's a lesson for you. Sometimes you feel angry, feel upset, and you don't even know how you get your knees met, but that's a lesson for you. And that's a lesson for you. So today I'm kind of groggy, waking up. The whole outside is foggy, but I have a blessed day because I go to meditation on Sundays. That means I get to leave my house for once and go out and just find what I want and take time for me so I could go inside my feelings and see what I could see without judging myself. I just think about all the things that I'm thinking without judging myself. I sit down with my eyes steady, never blinking, steady on clothes, looking at the different pictures inside of my eyes, like my foes and my friends or whoever is in between. Yeah, and then it ends. And then I wake up and like, what was I feeling about that? Not that I was asleep or laid back. I was all aware of what was going on inside you know inside of my atmosphere because usually we think the environment is making everything happen but if we start trying this meditation we realize that there's so many things inside that we're replacing by projecting from what are we going inside with them so what i'm trying to say is take some time for you to begin thinking about how you feel even if you have to lay down and be still that's called shavasana you laying down and you thinking about your body and how it feels as you scanning up and down how your breath is going up and down how your life is going up and down on a planet going up and down inside of a super amazing galaxy where you couldn't even imagine all the things that are challenging the fact that you live in life is in reality is so a miracle for you and me but if you lay down and you just really see that everything is so beautiful for you you will realize what's getting in the way of what's feeling true about that and it could be your feelings that happen you know something happened to you yesterday and you're still thinking about that and shavasana will open it up being still You realize that you're not spoken and what all of these voices inside of your head are broken and touch your heart and, you know, leaving your heart broken, too. But that's just something that you have to realize is something that is a technique for you. Thank you. My little man bought me breakfast inside of his hand. Thank you, little papo. Close the door. Bye bye. I'm going to go eat breakfast with the fam because, like I said, I have meditation around then, you know, around 30 minutes from now. So I'm going to eat and just break it down with the family. But I gave you two techniques. That's meditation and shavasana. Don't be sleep. Those are not times to just rest and be like, oh, my life is just a mess. There are times to be significantly alert, even though your body's not doing that much work. It's your brain that's freaking going berserk. And if you stay aware of that, you realize how you're hurt and what you got to work on. So that's the freestyle for the day. Um, Lesson for today is just accepting yourself, accepting your feelings, not judging yourself. And the best way to do that is to not go eat breakfast and to be in everyone's life because you're going to be projecting wherever you're at for certain. But take time for yourself where you have just a time and a moment to reflect. And then you could be able to. Um... Oh, you bringing me some juice too? Oh, thank you. You got to take that time for yourself. So then thank you, Papa. Bye bye. So you could. Like I said, don't run and get breakfast because you'll be projecting however you are. Take a moment to yourself to not accept where you're coming from and then get some insight from that. That's what I do. Um, I get away from the family. Unfortunately, my 
partner has to be with the son by herself it's a it's a hard thing to bear to be a parent by yourself but it allows me to reflect and then come back to the family and be able to understand what I'm bringing to the table what emotions I'm bringing what I'm dealing with so I know how to deal with myself therefore I could help out and be a better partner for everyone else for my family and for all the relationships I have even you all right so um take some time to yourself accept yourself don't judge your feelings and get that reflection on peace